All right, Bill. Now we should be able to see it just fine. Now you take your pictures of your swing much when you're out there taking pictures of Quincy? Really? You've never seen it? Oh, my. So, definitely in balance real well there, man. Shifting your weight on your front foot real well. Those arms don't look too good, though, right? They don't look very extended there through impact. I do this for scrambles, you know, because that way if you fouls up your swing, you know, then you can rely on your partners. So you can have a, the other partners can have a sane state of mind. And that way, too, you have an excuse, you know, if you hit poor shots, hey, blame it on Joel. He got me on the video, fouled me up. Ooh. Dead on the money, right? So that's lovely. But then those arms don't look too good, right? So they're really pulled in quite a bit. Right? So, but the ball flight was fantastic, right? So that's your good swing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, but that's why your good swing doesn't get the same consistent ball flight results as the tour player's good swing. You know. So. And they know that that's, I like to deal in reality here and, you know, the, the real world. So, but yeah, man, in the long run, Bill, you'd want to, I mean, that's fantastic. You know how fantastic that is, you know, from all the things we've done the last several months as Quincy's worked on it. But this also will definitely create some inconsistency because you compare the tour players, right? Like we know, any tour player we'd look at, we would see their shaft through there at this point and no left arm because his arms would be extended so much more. And then from this angle, we would see that kind of extension on all the tour player's swings rather than that. You know, so again, another way I say it is, you know, just red-blooded American male, we can hit the ball pretty much, but, but we might be doing it in kind of an unconventional manner. But in the long run, you know, if you really want to get better and better, you'll look more like that. Yep, because there are no good players that would look like that. I mean, guys who shoot under about 75 or so, or girls. All right, now we'll look at Quincy's. That was just a sand wedge. Had you hit any today yet, Quincy? No. Okay, so look at this one. Quincy, you've played here once or twice, haven't you? Um, Didn't we get out and play once? Oh, really? You've never played the whole course? Do you have your yardage book with you? Here, borrow, borrow this one. Let me give you the. Let me find the most tattered one I have. So if you accidentally forget to give it back to me or it gets soaked in the rain today, I won't lose much. Ooh, that one's really tattered. <laughs> so, that's, so give it back to me when you're done. But that will help everybody since I'm sure they haven't played here. And you haven't played here either. Okay, yeah, so that'll, be, that'll help a bunch today. So, yeah. All right. So, yeah, especially with that wedge, right? You can get it better than that. And then from this face-on angle, see how it looks. Your hips are stopping better. See that? Right through there. Right? Your belt's stopping there. So that's getting you a little more distance. It'd be nice if that foot was down a little better, right? That back foot especially. But the arms look good. Yeah. So yeah, see, because your arms are extended, you won't see that left arm over there at all. Like some other people, you know, you see their left arm there. <laughs> 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 You want to get you want to hit one on launch monitor real quick just for fun? You have a driver? Get your driver, man. Yeah, let's see let's see your driver. So let me stop this one. Any questions, there, Quincy? No, sir. Bill? No, sir. Okay. 